Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about the luxury items that I had on my wish list for last year and maybe even for the year before that and why I don't want to buy them anymore. I really wanted to make this because I went back to watch specifically my 2022 wish list and there are so many things, even from videos from months ago, that I already changed my mind and I do feel like it does make sense to talk about why you decide not to go for some things instead of only talking about the things that we do buy. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first one that I want to talk about is going to to be the Houndstooth Classic Club and I'm talking specifically about the one that is black and white with a Chanel ribbon intertwined. I wanted that in the medium size with the champagne gold hardware since probably a few years ago like I've been talking consistently about that bag and I was actually really close to buy it but at the end of the day I decided not to because I already have my Oreo Tweet Classic Club and I honestly think that bag is more than enough and I don't want to worry about another Tweet bag. I'm trying to be as carefree as I can with my bags and use them and enjoy them and not let fear take over because sometimes that happens with these bags but I'm not going to lie I'm always a little bit scared to ruin the Tweed 19 bag and I cannot imagine like the feeling with both bags also I find it to be a little bit like BC in some ways so I think putting that on the back and not really looking for it right now especially with the prices that classic flaps currently have I just don't I don't feel it anymore and I know that I'm gonna be worried about the bag I think with one that I have to worry about and care it's more than enough second one is going to be the Cartier Panther watch I've talked about this one so many times I still want the watch I no longer want it new 22,000 euros or something I'm not sure about the price I'm rounding it to 22,000 it's probably more it just doesn't feel right especially when you can find it used on the pre of market for way lower but it's a rare find so I've been trying to look for it like a little bit here and there but you almost never come across the exact one that I want which is the mini one in gold it's just gonna take time so for now I decided that I'm gonna stop looking for it if one day I come across the watch online for a very good price that is not 22k then I may go for it okay I really really like the watch but no more considering getting it from boutique maybe the juke perhaps but the panther watch no so a few months ago I went to the Chanel boutique and I fell in love with the Chanel 19 bag in the maxi size and I put it on the wish list I thought that was going to definitely get it but the reason why I'm not going to do it anymore is because I went again to the store with my computer the reason why I wanted it is because I wanted a bag that could fit my computer and that it was very comfortable maybe even crossbody shoulder bag that can fit also my agenda and some stuff to just take my computer because I only have one bag that fits my laptop that is the Chanel Deville and I have the largest size available which is this one this is my Deville and I love this bag so much because it's very comfortable fits everything fits my laptop it's really cute but it does have like this beach vibe so I wanted the maxi 19 bag to be like more like a city bag but I took my computer put it inside and the bag was sagging in the worst way possible like I thought about adding an organizer but I don't think even that could be enough it would have to be a very very structured one I don't want to damage the bag that much just because I want to take my laptop so I need to find a tote something that is a little bit more structured that can handle a 16 inch macbook because the 19 bag would have been destroyed or half dense or just like sag from the bottom because of the weight of the computer so it was not going to work with this one it only really works because I have an organizer from Samorga I do work with Samorga so in case you're interested I do have a discount code that is low 20 basically Samorga organizers are felt and they are specifically made for luxury bags they usually have compartments for your water your coffee you have pockets and they have different thicknesses they also make them in a ton of colors and for every single bag that exists when they release a new bag they make sure to make the organizer for it so I will link it in the description box down below and Samorga is the original brand that started to make organizers for handbags so you can protect the interior of your bag from pen marks scratches from your nails your keys but also for the exact same thing that I use it for this one to have structure on your bag however i still feel like the maxi 19 bag is not going to be it for me so i'm gonna wait and see if i find something better the van cleef earrings so i do have a very good reason to say this when it comes to van cleef i love the alhambra and for the earrings i wouldn't really want to buy the ones in onyx i would probably go for the ones in mother of pearl and i i just don't take my earrings off i leave them on same with my necklaces and same with my bracelets so if i have to keep taking it off i'm not 
not gonna put it back on and I don't want the ones in onyx the black is just too contrasting and I prefer to use gold or diamonds and pearls in the mother of pearl ones I would not use them or I would ruin them so I just know myself and I'm probably going to invest my money on diamonds and solid gold so I can sleep shower and swim in the ocean with them and not really worry about that this next one is home and I really wanted to get the Mario Bellini couch and I wanted it here for the office like right now where I'm sitting is my office and this is from Ikea I'm eventually gonna change it for something else but not Mario Bellini like at least not anymore I used to really want that and it's the type of piece that it's very aesthetically pleasing like I went and saw it like a friend of mine has it I sat on it and it's just not comfortable like I know that I wouldn't sit and edit on that and I would be too scared I'm already quite apprehensive when we have people visiting and Masha and everything with the Roche Bobois so adding besides that the Mario Bellini not being even as comfortable as the Roche Bobois I just can't I'm not gonna add that more stress in my life I want something beautiful but it's like hugging you and that invites you to sit down and that you can take naps there not really something that is just aesthetically pleasing like I think I'm beyond that point with my house like I do want to make it beautiful and very like chic but I also want to make it livable so that's been what I've been trying to balance like it has to look really good because it's where you live it's what you see every single day and if you live in a space that you like you feel better I don't know I just I love interior decor I really do so it's really hard for me to say no to things that are beautiful to the eye but uncomfortable to sit down so I will go for something beautiful but also comfortable not only beautiful I don't know if anyone has it and you find it comfy I just it didn't invite me to sit down five hours to edit a video video comfortably and then add the dog that usually wants to sit down with me it's just not for me so it's off the wish list but for anyone that wants to know the Rajouba is comfortable delicate but comfortable the hair bag I'm going to explain you why the thing with Hermes bags is that you never see them like not even the mini Evelines or the Picotons or the hair bags and if you see them they're like the display ones and I don't go to the stores as much as I used to and I honestly never tried on the hair bag before so I wanted it based on videos of other people that I saw I wanted it based on pictures and the idea that it was similar to the Kelly but very low maintenance it would be a bag that could be very casual that I could take pretty much everywhere and not worry about it I love the style I really like the look that it has but the other day I went to the store they had one in green beautiful by the way it was stunning I said I'm gonna see if I want to buy it and I tried to open it and close it like while wearing it that bag is such a hassle if a bag is too hard to get in and out and you're like busy it's annoying and for the price point that it has to so just I don't know I reconsidered it in the hassle of opening and closing it's probably gonna be a deal breaker for me the Kelly is already quite like hustly quite complicated and it like it's not bad but the hair bag is way way worse I love the look that it has I love pretty much everything about it except how hard it is to get in and out next one no more ever back charms and I've said this before but I was not living up to it because every time that I would go to the store I would go and look for Pegasus and Rodeos and I saw this beautiful Pegasus in like neutral color and I could just see that with my mini Kelly it would have been really really pretty but when I see that like realistically like with the bag it's beautiful it's really cute to take like bag shots but for some reason I feel like it ruins my outfit I think it may be because I I know that I look younger but if you see me with the like horse bag charms I feel like I look childish wearing the bags and I already get like really mean comments about that so it turns me off and every time that I see it it makes me feel like I cannot put an outfit together if the bag has a rodeo or something like that I already have quite a hard time with the twillies even for the bags that I know that need twillies to maintain like the cleanness of the handle and all of that I, I didn't buy it and I realized that hopefully I'm done I don't know if you can give me input on this like why do I feel like I look bad when the bag has a charm I feel like it takes like a little bit of elegance from the Birkin and the Kelly for example with a Picata yes I would do it but also they're very expensive so yeah no and the last one is the Hermes Kelly pocket so the Kelly pocket was this little little SLG that I had in my wish list since the day that I was offered my first bag I always asked to be put on the wish list and if they got any neutral one I wanted it I really like the closure the fact that it was a card holder and everything but so one the other day and the closure is too like it sticks out too much enough to scratch your bags and take 
too much extra space like useless extra space i already have the constant slim which i adore it's quite big but i adore that wallet but the kitty pocket just seems to be not very practical when you're not using like you cannot even put it in your pocket because the closure is just like sticking out so i think that kind of killed it for me and i don't want it anymore which is sad because it's very very pretty but i just know that i would be too worried to scratch things and it does take unnecessary space inside of the bag yeah i'm not going to do it these are the reasons why there's things that i do not wish to buy anymore and why hope that you guys enjoyed the video i would love to know if you had anything on your wish list in the last year and what made you change your mind i think my reasonings are quite silly but still enough for me to understand that it's probably not gonna work out so we'd love to hear you in the comments and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos if you're not done watching i'll leave you two right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye